Over the years, we've designed various styles of aerated floors for composting that facilitate tractor or loader movement. In 1998, our first aerated floors were in concrete bunkers, where the wall footings also served as the support for the loader wheels. This worked well when the loader size doesn't change or where the climate doesn't require the wall footing to be lower in the ground. They were simple aerated floors, cost-effective and easy to maintain. The pipes were embedded in wood chips over an impervious floor with a drain. They worked well. In 2000, we designed a floor for wider concrete bunkers. Aeration was provided through two-inch PVC pipes in trenches in the concrete floor. The trenches allowed excess moisture to drain and to be collected. Again, these aeration floors were cost-effective and easy to maintain. The size of the pipes limited the length of the pile or bunker that could be made. In 2003, we tried two different types of aerated floors where the pipes were embedded in concrete. The first used a specially made fitting that could be mounted on either PVC or HDPE pipe. This type of aerated floor has stood up very well in the last 20 years. The second aerated floor embedded in concrete used PVC or HDPE pipes with saddles and uprights. Slots protect the spigots from loader wear on the concrete over time. We created a special saddle and spigot that was simpler and cost effective. One needs to make sure that excess liquid entering the pipe can drain effectively without losing air pressure in the pipe. In very cold climates, we have to pay attention to liquid freezing in the pipes when it leaves that warm space under the pile. One challenge with HDP piping is its greater thermal expansion characteristics, which does not appear to be a concern when it's embedded in concrete, but may create a challenge during construction of the aerated floor. We've also used aeration piping embedded in a wood chip base or placed in a trench where the loaders operate on top of the pipes without damaging them. This works great for more temporary compost sites or where the cost is a concern. We've been using above-ground HDP piping underneath aerated windrows for more than 10 years. This requires thick-walled piping as it gets pulled out from underneath the pile to facilitate faster mixing. The above-ground piping allows composting on less costly asphalt surfaces. The pipes need to be welded and not joined together with couplers as thermal expansion may cause some issues here. With aerated floors, it's important to design the hole sizes and spacing to maintain adequate pressure along the length of the pipe. Pressures can range from 2 to 5 inches of water column up to more than 12 inches, depending on the design of the piping system the type of the blower used, and the characteristics of the material being composted. In the next video, we will review aeration control options and also why we prefer positive aeration rather than negative aeration. My name is John Paul. I'm a soil scientist and waste management specialist. Thank you.